had this idealized vision of life in France. Living near gorgeous chateaux, walking to get fresh croissant, using my intermediate French language skills with the locals to integrate into their impossibly cool and intellectual friend groups. Surprise, not all of this happened. We landed in Paris and had to drive to Italy to get some bureaucracy out of the way before starting our house hunting process. Traveling from north to southeast meant a lot of highway, fields, and way more tunnels than I expected near the Italian border. The few stops we made were incredibly beautiful and worthwhile. Two hours from Paris, we discovered Auxerre, where we all crashed for a few days to recover from our plane ride. Outside Grenoble, I was stunned by the lush mountains and clear blue lakes. On the south coast, we saw the setup for the Cannes Film Festival, drove along the boardwalk in Nice, and even tried to follow the Formula One circuit in Monaco without getting too distracted by all the sights. My curiosity to compare and contrast daily life led me to some interesting shops. This one felt like the Whole Foods of France, while this one had an impressive array of international specialties. I'm never one to pass up a bookstore, and this one even had sections for crafts and games. With limited packing space, I had to restrain my purchases, but I did pick up two books at this little free library. Several months later, in the fall, we traveled back through France on our way to Portugal. The foliage was turning, and it reminded me of a New England autumn. We stayed in a cottage with an incredibly peaceful and private backyard. Waking up to the dew-covered mornings rejuvenated us to continue on our long journey. The western coastal town of Hende was charming with its fishing port and waterfront walkways. You could even sit and watch the boats pass along the Spanish border which was easily visible across the port.
In late winter, we visited the town of Nîmes. With its imposing Roman amphitheater and romantically soft sunrise, this town managed to surprise me with its feeling of life even in the depths of winter. While we thoroughly enjoyed our time exploring France, ultimately we realized our hearts belonged somewhere else. I'm still working on my French language skills though, just in case. You never know what the future holds.